Hey y'all! The following program is intended for mature adult audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. You have been warned. Thank you! Welcome back to Flavored Enemy Tales of Vittore. The Trials of Taminar. Last we had left off with Team Andromeda, there was a cataclysm. A dark event that spelt the end of a timeline. The survivors, all collectively together now, in a far-off forest. Only a few are aware of the events that took place. The rest, blissfully ignorant, soaking in the warmth from the sun, bathing in the sound of the bugs and the birds, and the wind rustling through the trees, sitting down and feeling the soil between the fingers and the dew-covered grass under the arms. Looking around at everybody, everybody here, and those who aren't here, the sun beats down on our first of these people as they sit up and are aware of the stone architecture in front of them, the moss-covered intricate stonework that makes up the temple. Ghost, as you sit forward, confused about how you got here, you know, you were just not too long ago, talking about going and checking out some magical items in the Goblin's Horde to get ready for this mission that you were set out upon. And now you're here? Honestly, it could have been just a little bit too much drink that was had. But... Everyone else seems to be just as confused as you are. As you sit forward, taking in your surroundings and centering yourself, what is it you're doing? Um, do I notice... Uh, I'm assuming I notice everybody else kind of waking up. Yeah, everyone's kind of waking up slowly and seems confused. Um, anybody know where the, uh, the magic... the goblin sword is? I think we're lost. Uh, Do I right. hear this? Yeah. Uh, r r right, right, right now, everyone's still kind of groggily getting up. You're not really awake enough to answer that question yet. But the do one thing that you do see, Ghost, is you see kind of through blurry and sleep-crusted eyes a humanoid figure with a black cloak leaving from the forest. And you're not able to make out any discernible features or anything, but you see them clear the tree line, sword in hand. I'm going to reach down. Um, I'm going to reach down for my dagger just in case they come back. Okay, yeah. You can find your dagger there. And is there anything else you're doing besides talking to people? Um, I guess just kind of like trying to wake up and survey the surroundings a little bit. With that, we head over to M, the other, who is slowly starting to arise from the grogginess. And with the same thoughts in your head of the Goblin's Horde and of Douglas and of this mission to, uh, to Skyward, you are still kind of groggy as you're sitting up forward and Taking in your surroundings, you see Ghost a little bit further ahead of you. Uh, you hear him ask the question about the Goblin's Horde. And well, what do you do? Just a question. Am I not one of the people who remembers because I was at the end there with everyone? Oh, yeah. No, you were, but you don't remember. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just sort of going to look around and sort of I don't answer ghost I just feel this deep I just sort of you know that deep heaviness of you know that you're missing something but you don't know what it is um and I'm gonna sigh and I'm gonna stand up and I'm just sort of gonna walk a few steps over to look at this big stone structure in front of me as 
you walk over there, you kind of catch the foot of Quincy as he, he sits upright and Quincy, you see yeah. M kind of stumble over your foot and catching your surroundings and everything around you. Your brain's still kind of fuzzy over the events that have happened, but you definitely remember uh, the interaction with all the individuals in in the uh, the Whitestone Inn, and you definitely remember the interaction with Nito, who punched you in the face. But mm. after that, everything gets kind of fuzzy. Uh, well, uh, s- s- sorry, Am. Uh, um, he he kind of sits up. Um, are there any visible landmarks aside from the stone ruins? Any there's, kind there's of ge- stone. Yeah, the, there's the stone temple, and then there's the trees around, and then the the tree line that edges off to the horizon. But that's about it. Hmm. Okay, um, can I look around as Jolene here? Because Jolene was at the, the White Stone Inn. Um, yeah, you could start looking for Jolene. Mm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna you, do that. As you do, uh, Tig, you also come to, um, you're kind of leaned up against a tree. Uh, as you're able to slowly shake off the weariness and collect yourself and look around and the first thing that catches your eye is the giant stone temple covered in the moss the second Mm -hmm. thing that catches your eye is the very very odd scar on your left hand very very odd indeed because you don't precisely remember where it came from I mean, generally, you remember where all your scars come from. Is they all have interesting stories tied to them that, you know, sometimes make for good conversation. But for some reason, you cannot remember where you got this scar. Um, and the fact that we're um, not where I last sort of remember being, uh, Tig is patting herself down to make sure that she has all of her items, specifically Ro. You do find you do find Ro and <laughs> you're it's there. Everything everything else is there, but you also have a weird bracelet on that definitely wasn't there. Must have picked it up at some kind of rave or something like that. Oh yeah, because Tig's totally the kind of person who goes to raves. <laughs> uh, uh. But your eyes kind of drift back towards the scar once again. It's like intriguing. It's because, you know, usually scars look just kind of rough and skewed, but this one looks like intricate, detailed. Um, you said it's on my left hand? Yeah, it's on your left hand. I, the player, have no idea how I could have gotten a scar on my left hand. I'm not left handed. It looks almost like a rune, like something a magician would draw. Is it a, a scar like. Um, surface level or like keloid or is it more like a burn scar it looks more like a burn scar like a cattle brand almost almost yeah okay uh is there anything in the rune that like can i do an arcana check (laughs) or or something you can certainly try i mean can't hurt right and while you're doing that that's Please hot say, trash. <laughs> you, you are you are the next to wake. No recollection of anything b- besides the events that were leading you to the tavern, the Whitestone Inn, and the events that happened there, as well as going up to the Goblin's Horde. But nothing passed. Um, as you kind of recenter yourself. What are you doing? Looking around and trying to figure out where I am. It's scary to... I was just sleeping on Salt Point docks. And cold and alone, and now it's here, which is not great. And lastly, you jaunt up upright, having the this absolute mind-blowing headache 
as your brain is spiked, swirling with the events of not only everything that took place just arrived from, but everything that took place in this timeline as well, as your brain is trying to process all of these things at the same time, you are made aware of the small little bag that is tied to your little, little tea bag, a nice little kettle that is to Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh, let's stand up. <clears throat> Who are we missing? Are we missing anybody? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, a little. No, I'm. Um, does anybody want some tea? So, Ivrin, uh, you specifically noticed that Raph is missing. And you also notice uh, two individuals that were from the, for lack of a better term, previous timeline that are here with you now. You notice Delilah a bit further away. And you also notice very odd-looking vaporous cloud, lime green in color, that's lingering by her. I mean, well, I did kind of wish everybody we needed to be here. Ah, uh, uh, my head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to Delilah. Nobody. Hey, do you remember me? No, um, no. Uh, where, where am I? Uh, what, what happened? I'm gonna lean down. I go. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm gonna pat the head. I'm like, I'll get you home. So a lot of a lot of crazy stuff is really gonna happen again, but uh, don't worry. I'll make sure nothing bad happens, and I'm gonna give a nice bright smile. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get some tea. I think everybody needs some tea. Hey guys, does anybody else have a headache? As Tig, I need the Arcana check from you. M, I need the Investigation check from you for the ruins. Tig for the uh, ruins. For my hand. Quincy, what were you rolling for? Um, rolling for? Look, looking for Jolene. All right, I need a perception check from you. Okay. Uh, my arcana check was a nine. Wow. <laughs> Mine was a four. Seventeen to look for Jolene. Is right, Trover uh, here as well? Hold on. Uh, Quincy, okay. You <laughs> Quincy, you did not find Jolene. There's no Jolene around. Mm. Um, M... You have no idea what you're looking at here. It's that's a building. It's a building. Um, it has got moss on it. Very pretty moss. It matches my eyes. Tig. Yes. What was your roll? It was a nine. Uh, you can definitely tell that it's magical of some kind, and you feel like and Aurora I... might be. You feel like Aurora might be able to help you as you kind of clock her over in the distance. Cool. I'm gonna um, move in the direction of Aurora. <laughs> But, Quincy, the additional thing that you do see while you're looking for Jolene is Trover up on the roof of this temple with his foot caught in the gutter, hanging upside down with his gourd wrapped around his neck. Oh, oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Um, uh, how, how high up is he? Um, uh, he's about 45 feet up. Oh boy. Um, uh, d I, I shouldn't try to wake Trover, him. This Trover, this is about the time you wake up. Do I remember anything from uh, drink the time calm before this? And don't move. Uh, you remember drinking a lot with the friends that you made um, before leaving. Um, and that's about it. Why am I hanging from a... Oh, look, that's the ground down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... just start... <laughs> and I just start giggling uncontrollably. Uh... Okay, uh, concerning, but, uh, Trover, j just stay still. You don't want to fall accidentally. Um, I'm pretty where sure... Where am I going to go? There's not really any here. place for me to go other than down. Just give me a minute. I I'm going to go through my stuff and see if, like, I have a grappling hook or anything. Just, I'm pretty sure he can, like, fall and just be you, okay. You know I have 50 feet of rope in my bag on my back. He's How are you going to attach it to the All building? Right, I, well, 
Okay, no, excuse no, the I'll heck out of me out. for being concerned about my friend's safety. I guess I'm no, the idiot you. here. No, Look, no, I'm I concerned about you. I'm concerned about his safety. I just don't know how rope that's on his back. How is he going to attach it to the building? I know that's why I'm getting my grappling hook. I, I think I have one. Can't he just like fall down? I've seen can him do it. My grap uh, can I just try to throw my grappling hook up there? Uh, yeah, sure, you could try. And Ghost, what are you doing during this time? Um, I'm. Uh, probably just watching. See, I'm just waiting to see if they need help or uh, helping Quincy look for Jolene. I'm gonna I'm gonna start walking around to everybody, and I'm just gonna. Hey, do you remember anything? If they don't, if they look puzzled on the face, I'm just gonna walk away and go ask the next person. Um, I rolled a ten to throw my rope. Um, yeah, you 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 get it up there. It's not the cleanest thing, but you do get it up there. All right, just just try to maneuver yourself to the rope. I'll hold it, and you can climb down. As as Quincy is entirely focused on on holding Trover up, I go walk up to him. Hey, do you remember anything? Uh, all right. You... <laughs> so I start walking off. Yeah, yeah. That that was the answer. It, what do I need to roll to see get my foot out and get on the grappling hook? He looks entirely too much like the. Head. Um, you, you can roll an ac acrobatics check. That's a six. You. <laughs> unhook your foot and fall and you land right in your back as you hear a loud crack take one point of damage bludgeoning damage oh. and your back is now soaked in black strap as your gourd cracked behind your back oh that was brother I'm... wait what? I'm missing the gourd that was mine crap oh dear uh you okay other than breaking my gourd and missing a gourd, I'm fine. Huh. Stretch and kind of pop and move around, but thank you for trying to get me off. It was me being clumsy and falling. Yeah, no, no. Did, did we get drunk last night? Because that's the only no thing problem. I remember. Yeah. No, the answer is no. I'll tell everybody later. What? Uh, all right. Just hear me yell. As Aurora kind of scampers up to the rest of you all and says, is, uh, does anyone else know exactly what's going on? The no, last Aurora. thing I remember is getting drunk. That doesn't seem that unusual for you. Uh, Aurora, do you know what this is? And Tig just sort of puts her hand out. Um, uh, yes, a uh, little bit concerned at why you got the abyssal rune for judgment on your hand, but here we are. Uh, Tig is going to slowly close her hand and put it in her pocket. Uh, can I go through my pockets? Everything I picked up from the other universe, is that in there at all or no? Sorry? So, I didn't hear you. My, I said, uh, everything I picked up from from you know, from before the getting yeeted through time. Um, mm -hmm. as, I, would have, I, would are, check, I would check for are, the gun. And the, you are and the aware... Gun. You are aware of everything that Ifrin has experienced across the two timelines. Okay, but I don't actually have any of the physical items. You do not have any of the physical items from the first timeline. You have everything that came with you from Alteris. Okay, so uh, the copy of Vanth and 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 Tig in a jar. Dead. <laughs> awesome. You have an empty jar. You don't have a ticket. <laughs> Okay, that's that. That was that was gonna be the thing of the main thing I was asking, mm -hmm. but I do have I do have the minute jar. And you also, as you're kind of digging through your stuff, you also have something that was not there previously. I have my staff. You do. Um, but the thing that you have there that you did not have previously is you pull out a singular playing card, almost like a playing card. It's bigger. Um, and it doesn't have any numbers or anything on it. All it has is a depiction of your place that you went to school, your training ground for the wizarding that you learned. Oh, hey, that might be time to go see Teach. 
uh, about this issue. Mm. And I'm going to put it in my pocket. And what does the rest of y'all do? As you see, you all can make out the the very weird looking uh, girl who's you all do not recognize except for Ifrin. Uh, that's currently sitting off, off to the, in the distance by the tree and playing patty cake with the air. Ifrin, on the other hand, you see that she is not playing patty cake with the air. She's playing patty cake with the gr- lime green vapor thing that's next to her. Mm, uh, well, only Ifrin can see the cloud. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be... I'm not too far away from Delilah, um, but I am trying to kind of listen to what she says, and at some point I am going to ask her about her uh, Sierra Mist, but... Do you hear that mist? <laughs> Does anybody else see the child, or is am I drunk? Her name is Delilah. Child? All right, Delilah. Hey. If I, why is there... Where are we? Why is there a child here? I think... What is I going think on? We all need some tea. We're in front of a building. <laughs> what building? I definitely is need something to drink since I just destroyed my guard. How about we walk? No, the last time I was sober, that didn't end well for D- Brother Dietrich. Hey, can 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 I see this building? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can see. Yeah, it. it's a it's a building. Does it look it's familiar at all? Nope. No. Ah. Uh, nope. d- I don't know why we're standing outside. Let's go inside. Let's let's check it out. Uh, I'm gonna go. You, you said something about tea. Uh, tea? Isn't tea. there a kettle over there? I don't know. I'm looking for a big old table though. There might be one in this building. Why do you need a table if you're so wanting we to can make all that? gather yeah. around it and drink tea? But the kettle's there. <laughs> we can sit on the ground. What's happening? I have yeah. no idea, Tig. Do you have any kind so of idea what's going on? Picked up. I don't have them, correct? All right, I'll start right now. No, you do not. The tea sounds good. I'll go grab the little. I'll grab yeah, Delilah, and I walk Jerry. over to Delilah. Yeah, I just want to help me build a fire real quick, so we can, you know, get some hot water yeah. going. Yeah, as, sure. As sure. as uh, as you all building fire, and you find a very. Yeah. Uh, weird arrangement of cups in your bag there's exactly eight you never had cups like these in your bag they're golden with like a silver filigree across it and the rim is encrusted with emeralds very ornate these are what the well um guys I guess I got cups covered as I just sort of walk around and start handing them out to people. Oh, are you, are you, are you guys sure y'all don't remember anything? This is if gonna... I, if, I remember, if I remember something, I would have told you by now. Make the tea. Oh, cool. Lila, I, I think we're gonna go drink tea. Oh, Do you oh. wanna come oh. join us? I I would notice the friendship place on your arm, and I'd go, oh, hey, hey, uh, something I did worked. This? And Tig, like, raises up her, her arm that has the bracelet on it. Yeah, I gave you a friendship bla- bracelet. Don't lose it. When? What? Uh, what's today? I, that's I actually, don't... that's something, that's something we gotta figure out. What is today? Yeah. As far as... What is today? I mean, it should <laughs> be around the, like, monikers. first of Green Edge, right? Because yesterday was the 32nd. Or no, 33rd. First? 31st? No, it was the 31st, so yeah, this should be the 32nd. I don't... I whistle <laughs> at that point. Oh, like, ooh. It kind of hurts a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm dealing with a headache, too. It's, don't worry, we're all just gonna be groggy. Hopefully everybody, you know, kind of gets... As, as the tea's brewing, I'm just focused on it for a second. Hopefully everybody just gets, you know, mellowed out after this. I could get rid of that headache for you. What? What do you mean? We say, don't remove the head. Like, like what? I'm literally, like, what, what do you mean? I'm giving you the challenge, guys. Why do you know? Why do hmm? you know my name? Who are you people, anyway? We, we met, 
We met, we met in the... yesterday, didn't and we? Yeah, we, we met drank at the tavern. Yeah, we were... You we were there. Quest. We're going to the fucking moon at the Whitestone Inn. Oh, remember? Yeah. Sorry. Look, this is no memory is groggy and yeah. Weird. Yeah. 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 yeah there's just this big blank between yesterday and today for me, at least. Yeah. Oh, if this um, tea isn't like, some kind of hallucinogenic, is it? Uh, is it because I, you know, carry a gun on my person, and it's kind of dangerous for me to consume stuff. I'll like hold that. it for you. I'll hold it if, for you. I don't. You certainly will not. <laughs> if it is a hallucinogen, it, it, I'll just drink every time the last part. The last time I got to hold on to it and got turned into Plus a jar. A, you're still right here. We what? shouldn't give I'm it sorry. to a child. No. I, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck was that, Ifrin? No, like you'll remember in a minute. I think that's what the lady said. You have lady. my gun I, when I got turned into a jar. I Make the damn tea. Are you sure you haven't already taken hallucinogens? No, we're just all I'm like this. I mean, really yeah, wizards are kind of like that. Mm, and no, I know a pretty great wizard. His name's Fizgarl, and he's. Cool. I don't know. My brother's pretty cool. I mean, not as brother cool. Brother Dietrich told me of a mayonnaise wizard once. I, that sounds what? made up. Tig is I've making a face of I've, I've, I've made Dietrich a grave error. Them. I'm gonna My have friend. to ask Dad about the mayonnaise oh. wizard. Does everybody oh. have a cup? Uh, yeah. Um, I, uh, I start pouring yeah. the tea in everybody's uh, thing. Beautiful right. cups. You I don't know. necessarily know what everybody's reactions are going to be to this, so just don't hate me. And then I drink mine first. Hey, uh, Ghost. Yes? As you go to grab your cup, you open your hand for the first time, and you see that there are three gold coins in your hand. Like, resting in your hand. But they don't look like Vatoran currency. They are unstamped and hand cut like if like if it was forged directly from a molten piece of gold with no mold hey. no stamp no nothing like that they're very old and intricate looking um guys and i showed them the coins oh. Ooh, what's that That's would i recognize weird. these yeah what I, I didn't see those before Having owned, worked at a shop for my whole life, would I recognize these coins? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Everyone can roll me a history check. Tig can do so with advantage. Thank you. Absolutely awesome. Cool. Let's wow. Negative two history. Get a nat twenty, baby. Ooh, solid seven. I got a twenty-three. I got an eighteen. I rolled a twelve. I got a one. If you didn't get over a 22, you got nothing. I got a 23, so what is it? These coins were famous for being the currency of a long forgotten, long, long forgotten kingdom. Um, one that used to exist in what is now known the Radiant Void long time ago that this kingdom and its infamous hero uh lived on in legend but most of their most of their history culture art was lost to time and destruction um and as such it's rare to even see anything from Tyrannith and it honestly takes you aback because you've only ever seen these coins once before and it was a singular co collector item and it yeah. sold for about 50,000 gold coins. It was, I don't know where you got those, but they're from the Radiant Void. They're super old and super rare. Did man, All kinds of things changed in this timeline, didn't it? Mm, I'm losing stole? my patience with you, Ifrin. I you really am. Say that. 
Mm. How always? I met you yesterday. I've met you a thousand times. Probably by now. I don't know. I lost count. Make the tea. Yeah. I already did. Okay. Drink yours. Not gonna lie, that kind of sounds disconcerting if you met us over who um, knows how many times. Oh, all right. Uh, maybe. Uh, I shrug. <laughs> Uh, Quincy will take the cylinder out of his gun so um, it doesn't have, like, any bullets in it. And he puts the cylinder away and kind of puts, okay. kind of straps the gun to himself a little tight, uh, tighter than usual. And he's like, okay, bottoms up. And he slowly starts drinking this tea. Anyone else drinking the tea? I'm just I'm gonna, gonna make sure Delilah's at the table it. before I drink mine. I will not drink the tea. Dig is removing the pocket. bullets from her gun, and then she will drink the tea. Okay. I'm gonna pocket the coins and then drink the tea. Okay. Trover, what were you doing? Uh, I'm gonna drink the tea after making sure Delilah's at the table with her cup. But I once she's there, I de definitely drink I it. Need, I need everyone who's drinking tea to roll me a Wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh good. My good skill, famously. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yes, <I'm> 20. 20. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> we are brilliant. Eight. You and me, Em. Yeah. I got it. Oh, wait. I have advantage on wisdom. Wait, against magic. Never mind. Wait, is this magical? Yes. Oh, God. I got just so excited just now. Go stick in another nap with an eye. Oh because I rolled Three a five. Of us? Three of us natty 20 God, that makes me so happy. But I thought you weren't drinking the... The tea. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not drinking the tea. What? What? No, oh, I okay. thought you yeah. natty 20 Okay. No, I was I was con I was being excited about the fact that you all... Oh, got oh, you. Okay. I, I misunderstood. We got too excited. Yeah, no, you're, yeah you're good. Sorry. I called like but, three uh, nat twenties on Wednesday last night or last week this week. So. But uh, I no, I did not. Oh, I got a nine. Mm -hmm. Eight. I got a ten. Uh, I, I got. Quincy. Okay. I got an eight. Trover? Sorry, I'm. My out. highest one was an eight as well. Okay. Each of you will take ten psychic damage, and it can only be recovered through. A magical healing spell of third level or higher, including those of us who got nat twenties. No, those yes. of you who those of you who failed, which is under ten. Um, I oh, had, I got a ten. I had a bunch of of temper absorbed it. No. Okay. I have to imagine that we don't have those hit points because I'm pretty sure they're from the great clown battle. Okay, hold on. I know that this is only like this would go way at third level, or would I just know there's an amount of pain in my head? Oh, uh, you would just know that there's a huge amount of pain in your head. No, so I'm gonna give you guys some time to process. Y'all are about to probably have a whole bunch of memories. I don't really know. This is the first time it's happened. Things are changing. It's a good as thing. Quincy, uh, sorry, um, as M. Tig. Your memories start coming back to you really nice and quickly as you're able to recollect everything that has happened to you. And Tig, when I say everything... You mean I, everything. Everything. I, I After the pain starts to subside, you're starting to recollect everything that's happened, including what mm -hmm. happened during the events of Spectres. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull out the jar of, uh, and then I'm going to put it away just to be funny. Quincy, your memories start to come swirling back. Everything that's happened, including the things that happened in Rose. Uh, do, do I also remember future things? Which ones? The, like, <laughs> here comes the sun. For example, you remember here. You remember the events of Here Comes the Sun. You don't remember anything about the Fourteenth of Dark Crest. Do I remember anything about the Fourteenth of Dark Crest? You do not. No one remembers anything about the Fourteenth of Dark Crest. Boom. Mm. Uh, 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 Qu Quincy like staggers back, like he's not able to stand. Um, 
I do have one other question um, that might be sure. relevant to Quincy. Considering that he is a reincarnation of his mother, does he remember, like, does he remember every incarnation of himself or just Quincy? Just Quincy, yeah. Okay. The changed man only remembers so much. Hmm. I, uh, would like to take a little bit of time while everybody's just off remembering. I'm going to go look at the sun pretty much and uh, clap my hands together and just go, sorry, you can't be here. Really hoped you could be. And then I'm going to go hang out next to Delilah. Over. I need you to make another wisdom save. Lots of 15. As memories of oceans, of ships, of the sound of wind, the fire of cannon, and the spray of sea come rushing back. Like a trickle, like there's a dam still up. It's only letting out a but the memories are there. And you know who out. What do you all do? I rolled 16 to try to roll stealth away from the crew, like everyone without them noticing. So anyone that has higher than 16 perception, let me know. Um, can, can... Jake's not paying attention to that. No. Uh, just using Quincy's passive, he's not paying attention to that right now. That's what I mean. Yeah. I would be kind of paying attention to Delilah, since she's one who did not get to drink tea. Uh... There's enough tea for Delilah. There's enough yeah, tea. I know, but I'm not sure if she can handle all those memories at once. Yeah, um... Any see, chance we could... So, so you you see Delilah. She kind of looks up at you, and you see that flicker of the lime green, and violet, purple, and cyan color in her eyes, but nowhere near the levels that you saw. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Three different colors. I'm gonna look over to her 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 gaseous friend uh, that I can kind of see, and I'm gonna go. Can you understand me? Can you like just wiggle if it looks like I'm talking to the air? But I'm just, just just wiggle if you can, if you know what I'm saying, or can communicate with me a little bit. You all hear this next bit as, I can hear you just fine. Oh, would you talk? I remember too? for that voice from right at the very end of everything. Is it the same voice that spoke to it, us from it, the sky? It's not the same voice. No. Okay. What is the voice? Yeah, do, do we recognize oh, is it? There, is there anything I can do to help you all? Who are you, first of all? Introductions would be nice. Where's oh. my fucking crew? You're what, Trover? One? The name's not Trover. It's Alistair Von Clyde. And two? Where's my fucking crew? Em's gonna sort of look over her shoulder at him. Her eyes are pretty still dead and empty, living through some of the memories of watching everyone just, like, disappear. Uh, I'm just gonna be like, Oh, so you actually were meant to be beheaded. Why would you tell us your name is Trover? I remember being named Trover, but my name is Alistair. It's starting to come back, most of my memories. And you see that his vestments that he was wearing are kind of set up now in a sailor fashion. It's like, I'm still Trover from the last five years. But it's like a trickle. I'm getting memories. Tiny bits at a time. I remember the sea. I remember a ship and a crew. But that's about it. I, I haven't got it all. So I know I'm Alistair Von Clyde, I just don't know what I did. And what do you mean? What do I mean? What? I think you cut out. You said I remember what I did. All I remember doing, little, what little has come to me, is being a captain of a crew. Of... And he tries to hide it under his back, breath. Purrs. You do still retain your memories of the things you did as Trover. 
uh, I'm saying I remember that as but it's like what what I was trying to hide is like I, um the fact that it was a pirate. It's like I still remember him being at the monastery. The first thing I did apparently when I got to the monastery was attack Brother D3 and then doing the training to be a drunk monk because they tried to sober me up because they thought I was drunk. And I figured I never wanted to go back, but now the memories of me being Alistair is coming back. But I don't know what I did as Alistair other than being a captain of a crew. And again, here it goes, Pirates! And that's it. Um, DM. Put his gun right in uh, order, um, and then... Uh, sorry, he, uh... And then he's gonna say, well, you said the memories are trickling back to you. My guess is if we wait around long enough, eventually the rest will come. Time to wait around long enough. I feel whether if we wait or go somewhere, they will still come. Yeah, yeah, I, I just meant, you know, he's gonna have to wait for his memories, but in the meantime, we have... Well, I'm not going to lie, I've been waiting five years to get my memories back, and that they're coming back slowly. That's something. Yeah. I'm still going to go by Trover Walsland, because that's who I am now, Alistair Von Clyde. I may have been him once, but not anymore. I, I don't mean to, like, make it, like, make like, like there, there's, there's a lot going on right now, but... Huh? Has anyone seen Wrath? Um, hey. Uh... Aurora. Not at the moment. Aurora, I'm going to walk up to her and I'm going to put my hands on her shoulders. Can we talk later? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, DM. Thank you. Um, in my memories, do I have a memory of getting this mark on my hand? You do not. Cool. I, uh, uh, the whole time this has been happening, Tig has just been sort of staring at her hand. Um, and is just sort of... Sort of crying. <laughs> quietly to herself. Emma's gonna... Sort of watch Ifrin walk away with Aurora and... Um, no, actually, I'm gonna just pause that conversation. And then I'm gonna turn right back around towards the green mist. Hmm. I've... <clears throat> you were about to say something, I believe. You're the one I really wanted to hear from since you started talking. Uh, and everybody just sees me kind of pointing over to where... Next to Delilah, but there's nothing there. <laughs> but once again, you all do hear the voice. Well, wh what can I answer? Um, you can... Start... With uh, an introduction, or is that you know I, one of those private? That's a, that's a tough question to answer. Um, at one point in time, I was Reese Cadigan. Mm-hmm. And no, I I don't know what Reese Cadigan is anymore. The being I was, the amalgamation entity that controlled my body the construct that I was or this husk I am now. Um. Okay. Do um, I remember talking to Raph about his dad at the tavern? Yeah, you do. Isn't Reese's Raph's dad's name? Yeah, we met two well, no, one. I met one of we um, all... Tig shot him. I've met two. Yeah, uh... Did you shoot both? No. Okay. I only shot the one. And Tig's still just sort of quietly crying and looking at her hand. Okay, um... So, I know that there's been a lot of ups and downs when it comes to your whole family. Don't necessarily know the details... Just kind of been hearing it in passing, and unfortunately, uh, won't be able to hear too much more. Because, uh, look around, he's not here. It's okay, though. Then we'll have to get along without him for now. Uh, but, 
she's gonna be okay, right? I'll take care of her. But nothing crazy should should be happening too much. As long as there's not too much stress, there won't be any significant changes. I'm gonna do a really long sigh, and then I'm gonna I'm take a stress breath. <laughs> like I could I could feel it from here. It was just like oh. Okay. I'm gonna sort of look over at Delilah and just sort of like remember the feeling of her changing in M's arms and she's just sort of gonna like stand up and shake her whole body and just like start to walk away from the group. Can I? I'd like to check my pockets. Uh Okay. I would also. Oh. Um. Safe to assume most everybody remembers everything, except for those who didn't drink the tea. Um. Yeah. I'm just checking my pockets. Damn. No, I understand. I was just gonna start planning our next move. The only thing that you find in your pockets is a small bit of uh, twine. A set, a, a rook from a dragon chess set, and a playing card. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> they say, are, uh, they say, are you okay? Okay there. Uh. Oh. Uh. The universe is a cruel and powerful mistress. <laughs> I have no fucking clue what's going on. You you should have drank the tea. I think we still got a little bit more. I'm good, Ifrin. Okay. The only thing I drink is water. Ooh. Um, can I, can I'm gonna walk up um, I'm gonna so, walk up. What's up? Um, question. When we were standing there in the kitchen and my dad's head rolled through the floor, did you know that was gonna happen? I did not. Alright. So, just because things have happened doesn't mean they always happen that way. And, uh. Then how'd you know about the true resurrection scroll? Huh. Sometimes that one was just given to me, to be honest. Not not many times like that are going to happen either. You know, we can't just always pray for a miracle, but I've been kind of... Let's just say I, I, I've done a few of those, these these rewinds before, a lot, kind of like on a, on a repeating loop over and over again, trying to do different things and always ending up back in the same spots. It's not really fun, and it gets kind of stressful. That's why I always try to keep this happy attitude, so. Well, you've also been a lot of information, I feel like, from us. Everything always changes. I'm always not there for whenever people are learning things, and then I just kind of get secondhand information. It's like telephone. Well, oh, you probably don't understand that reference. That's that was, that was more of a one of those Alteris things. You know, I've lived in Alteris, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not always the same game, you know. The world's not always the same. Things things always change. The, doing doing small different things changes bigger things later on, and back and forth. It's, there's never there's never that. If or not, are you okay? No, I'm it's not okay. Not all the time. Excitable. It's it's finally getting to me, and I'm just glad that all of you guys can remember because I can finally feel like I level with you guys a, a bit. It's 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 kind of hard getting around. It, it, yeah, oh. I under I understand that. I I think this is the first time I've ever gotten the chance to level with you guys. There's a whole lot I don't know what's going on, but I did kind of get a hint. I think we should go see my teacher. Yeah. Um. It's at this moment that Tig is standing up and walking away. Oh, oh. Well, Tig, where hey. are you going? We need you. She's just going into the woods. I'm going to keep an eye on her, but keep a distance. You go. I'm gonna go check on it. 
I, I understand this is a time for everybody to kind of process a bit, but everybody also needs to understand we're, we're in a new reality. Things are not going to be the same. We have to move forward. Yeah, but moving forward isn't exactly easy, you know? I don't know if my parents are alive now, because last time I saw them, my dad's head rolled across the floor, and... <laughs> Where I, 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 I don't even know what happened to my mom. Yesterday... We were in the Whitestone Inn. What is it? What is? It? What do you think that means, guys? Uh, we that, restarted again. Nothing. Yep, that means none of that's happened yet. It also means we're back to what square feels one. like square one, but in a yeah. brand new space in front of a building that I was hanging off of, by the way. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting for everybody to, you know, yeah. say, hey, let's just go inside. But our team leader decided to walk off. So, Tig. We'll be back. As we, as we zoom over to you in the woods, you're kind of absentmindedly twirling rope in your hands. Kind of like, not, not twirling it like a gunslinger, just like rotating it around. Fidget, fidgeting with it, yeah. Um, as your hands kind of brush over the underside of the grip and you feel like cuts into it like little notches so you kind of like, rip it over and take a look at it it's engraved with roughly with a knife the word if capital letters both of them I F um Tig's like crying um, she's crying a lot. Um, and she's just, like, thinking about, like, what the fuck could if mean? And she's also, like, sort of half-heartedly, like, trying to talk to Vamp because she recognizes that she's not where she was before. And I think she's just processing a lot of, um emotions about a great and terrible future that she has now lost. As you're sitting there, everyone's kind of like wondering where you are and you kind of absent-mindedly stumble upon Tig in your own trying to collect your own thoughts. So you two are in this secluded grove and you kind of like notice that Tig's already here what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go over to her. And I'm going to... Hand her two things. One being a folded up note that just says Andromeda on it. And the other being my Moonstone key. And I'm gonna look at her and I'm just gonna say... I'm sorry. And then I'm going to walk deeper into the woods. Tig, what do you do? I think Tig's just crying harder now. Like, it's just... It's all so much. And she's just... I think she's now trying very hard in her head to see if she can talk to Vamp. She's going, this is a different world. I don't know if you're here. It would be great if you were. You feel a small pull at your heart, shadowy blood, swirling and forming in black iron. You see he carries a double sided. You can see dead, sightless. As he appears, I you. I am not the one you win. No, you're not. Ugh. She's like wiping the tears from her eyes. Uh, who, who are you? Vanth requires some time to reform. The last act destroyed the body that he claimed. Oh, that's a fun word, claimed. Really love hearing. Whew. I think it's safe to assume you're the judge. That is I. Ah, can you explain to me why I have this mark on my hand? In the reality you find yourself, you would already entered my service the reality you come from you had entered yeah and i, I know um 
that's a, a future that's been closed off to me and I, um, I don't feel great. I understand that it's been closed off to everybody, but there's things in that future I would do a lot to get back. It's not unattainable. Sure fucking feels like it. <sighs> um, I have some things I'd like to fill you in on. That would be great. I would appreciate that. Uh, sir, God, whatever. It's been so long since I had a casual to know what you would call me. I'll call you whatever the fuck you want me to call you. Well, you call me Abaddon. Uh. Now, you have been given time and agency. You still possess the shards that you had already claimed. There is one more that you need before meeting with the rest of your town, the Bronze Tower. Is it uh in this building over here? It is. Great. So you've collected it, you'll make your way to Douglas. And I suppose you're not the one providing transit. The temple of the Taminar. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I think she's just looking at her feet. To pass judgment on one individual. That is all I ask. Do I get to pick, or are you going to tell me who? Or? The being that is in control of Skyward has trapped my brother hundreds of years. Um, the rest of the Palinirum would not admit to a demon prince being controlled, entrapped, and their power siphoned. But I would rather see this if it be frightful. Do I get a name for whoever the fuck's got the librarian tied up? Afraid I do not know what they go by, only what they were born as. At the start, Abaddon, any th information you can give me, I'm grasping at straws here. Yeah, uh, at least they were. Cool. Cool, that's great information to start with. Um, anything else that you... Uh, need from me. I know is that the librarian must with this the information you seek to... I don't even know what that information is anymore. I mean, I guess I know what information I guess I would have liked it to be before all of this and I think I know what kind of information I want it to be now. Uh, thank you, Abaddon. Do you, uh, no. How long it'll take for him to get back? Can you repeat that, DM? Three months. Fuck, that's so long. He unfortunately has to reconstitute himself. Yeah, that's fine. Um. My gun don't work so good. Now that's cool. Uh, that is not the case. I made an agreement with Vanth to protect you and I will do so at that as moment Tig just burst into tears <laughs> as you see him meld into Ro as the whole weapon darkens into his shades of black Tig is crying and now holding a gun that has a demon prince in it great 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 I'm losing my fucking mind right now oh god what the fuck um I think Tig is gonna Take a moment to compose yourself. Wipe all the new fresh tears away. And then she's going to shoot a tree and leave. <laughs> and go back to everybody. With that, we pop over to Ifrin and Aurora. Aurora kind of looks at you. Um, so, uh, what's, what's going on, Ifrin? I don't... I don't really know how to say this without it being terrible. Okay. So, I got to do two spells into this really big thing that kind of set us all back here. Okay. And I used your staff. And you know it's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes I do. Well, 
Um, I wished. And everybody who I needed here is here. And since... Since he's not here, he's off somewhere else. I'm sorry. Okay, um, we have... Uh, we have things to do. Uh, we have a, a, a mission to accomplish, and that's what's important, right? Uh, so, um, let me, uh... She kind of pulls out a textbook. I'm gonna go, uh, study these ruins. Maybe you can get some um, sort of context as to what we're gonna be dealing with inside. And she kind of storms off. Quickly. Uh, stand there with my words in my mouth, and I'm just... I'm as sorry as I can be, but, uh doesn't change anything, I guess. I'm gonna go walk up to the front of the building and just kind of stare and wait for everybody to kind of gather around. Um, can you roll me a... Can you roll me a, uh, Perception check? Perception? Okay. Correct. Twelve. Hello? You notice that there is one key thing that is definitely should be on your person and is not. Um, what's not on my back, is it? Um, what's not on your back. Oh, no. I was just about to ask about it. Ah, dang, nab it! And, uh, Quincy's gonna start rummaging through his pack for anything. And then, at some point, I think he just kind of slams his fist against the ground. It's like, the... Raph, I'm, I'm so you... sorry, Raph. I... You trusted me. You trusted me with this, and you trusted me to protect you, and you trusted me to... And I sent you to your... I don't as, even know. As something falls free from your bag that's now laying there next to you as you were kind of rummaging through your things... So you make out the black and dark blue jersey of Raph from his Vaith University <laughs> oh, away to you. Uh, I, I like unfurl it. It's the, it says Raph on it, right? Yeah, it, it it says it says Morgan on the back. Yeah. It's, it's his jersey left in the left in the in the bag where your where Almount was tethered to. Rath, I'm so sorry. I, I, I hope that wherever you are, I hope you're okay. Please. I don't want another person to die on my account. The Aurora, just furiously studying the runes, kind of looks over at you to console you and then notices the jersey. And you see her just kind of drop her things and just kind of go and kneel next to you and she kind of wraps her left arm around your shoulder and just kind of side hug holds you there you you okay Quincy what's what's going uh, on I I don't have the sword I I found this where I kept it I he, he, he trusted me you know when he first when he first became a vampire are all the hunter but despite that he trusted me he told me what had happened to him because he was so scared not just of you know what had happened to him but that he'd hurt someone and he trusted me and i promised him i promised him that i would that I'd look after him and how <sighs> it seems like all i can do is fail the people i care about <laughs> That's not true, and 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 you know it. You've done so much for every single one of us here, and 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 I'll be damned if I'm going to be here and listen to you talk down on yourself. You are an excellent person who always puts the feelings and and hopes and goals of others before his own, and I honestly could not. I cannot. And I know that may seem cruel and 
and un- unimportant. You know, I, I need to do what I want with all of my heart. And you were a good person. Honorably. By your friends and by everyone. You know what's real funny, Aurora? <laughs> uh, what was that? I'd say just about all of that about you. <laughs> uh, if only we, you know, maybe saved a slice of that kind of compliments for ourselves, we wouldn't, we wouldn't feel so down all the time, would we? Uh, I, I'll admit, I, it's always been a struggle for me to, you know, care about myself, but, and, or to see myself the way other people talk about me, like, you know, they, they talk about someone selfless and kind and a hero, and I don't really see any of that. Are you kidding me, Quincy? Are, are you absolutely kidding me? Quincy, you rescued... You rescued the horses from that... What, what did you call him? The, 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 neck, the, the neck, neck row rancher. rancher. Y- yes, oh, yes. Oh, boy. And, and... There is that that thing that uh, there is that thing that Jolene told me about that at the theater when you oh, yes, brought uh, someone from a life of torment and anguish and you brought them into life and happiness and being part of society again. Yeah, um, we're still and, pen pals. Uh, you know we were gonna we were gonna go out for coffee sometime, but I I think I I'm pretty sure I sent Anders a, lend, a letter saying that. I was going to be busy with this, and, and you know, just just in case you just in case you uh, you, you know th- that wasn't enough for you. You have been here for every single one of us in our most difficult times and our most difficult moments. And if you can remember where that leads you, the way that I can remember where that leads you. In the city of Spokestart, you and Jolene, and the relationship that you have with your daughter, that, that is a hero, if I have ever seen one. Yeah. But you know, I think you turned out pretty cool too. Let's, let's go, let's both get each other there, okay? You and me. Yeah. 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 Go. For our home team, and he kind of holds up Raph's jersey, crying a little bit. <laughs> uh, I mean, th- this was Jolene's university, after all. Yes, 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 yes. You know, last oh. I remember, we were like a week away from finally paying off her student debt. It was, <laughs> ye- <laughs> you know, years into the future, and with an empress's salary, was still hard. We, you know, really. <laughs> that, that should probably change, right? Like that. That shouldn't be the way that is. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I feel, I, I feel like the saving of the kingdom should constitute some sort of student loan forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. And and just generally, like I don't think the cost of university should be that much. Like that, especially if you need it to compete in the job market. But that's a whole other uh, debate. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Oh, um, uh, um, yeah, we should probably, oh, uh, yeah, 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 and she kind of stands up and kind of holds out her hand to help you up. Yeah, um, he, yeah, he'll take her hand and pull himself up, um, it, it takes a second for him to steady himself and, like, take a deep breath, and then... Well, um, I, I guess I can, I can help you inspect these runes and stuff, but, uh, you know, I'm no Jolene. She'd have had this figured out by now. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's have a look then. Yeah. Um, er, oh, actually, he's gonna pull out, uh, does he have, or er, um, he has Jolene's, like, notes, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, um, okay, I'll try to... She's not very organized, but I know how she doesn't organize, if that makes sense. Um, and, and I'm going to kind of use these to try to help Aurora figure out 
what's here. And with that, we head over to everybody else's Trover, Ghost, Ifrin, Glisse. What are you all doing as this is going on? How much think... more have I remembered? It's mainly just the feelings and the fact that you were a captain. You don't have any discernible faces or names or distinct memories. I am looking at the names on my Makawido and my right hand holding it is slightly shaking. Hopefully, hoping nobody notices, but it's very noticeable. And... I think um, turned so that no one can, no one else can see what's on the card. I am going to contemplate the steps I could have taken, you know, the road not taken towards you, killing her. You take a look at the card, and it's intricate design, fanciful scroll work, the clipped edges to be rounded, the faded, stained card. That's blank. Why is it blank? Suit? It, on the back side is the, is the no. design of the card back, but on, on the front it's just blank. What? No. 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 Stella Balsama's supposed to be on here. What? what? Why is it blank? Why is it blank? Am I... It's a call destiny. Am I supposed to find my own person? Have I already killed her? Why? God, am I? Am I a card now? Am I no longer? Do I finally get my name? Am I finding a call back? What do you do, Glisse? Everything and no. I think I am finally going to drink the tea. Okay. Host, what are you doing right now? Um, can I try and summon Aftercut? Uh, sure, go ahead. Attempt to. What do I roll? You don't can roll I just, anything. I can just. Uh, I open my hand and try and summon aftercut. As the blade lurches into your hand. All right, so I got that still, I guess. Um, shit. I think Ghost is gonna try and round everybody up to talk about uh. Um. What happened at the King of Steam's house? So, at this point, you would have briefly made some eye contact with me as I was standing around in front of the building, kind of dead stared, just waiting for everyone. I'm pretty sure I'm the first one you would have seen. Yeah, I'm just going to do the finger pull of come here. You, You come here. We should all meet up over here. This is where we need to go next, but we can talk out here. Sure, Ifrin. We'll gather up over there. I mean, sure. And Ghost is going to gather everybody else up and go over <laughs> there. Hey, you come walking up at this point in time. Uh, and uh, we'll get back to you in a minute. Quincy, Aurora, Ghost, Tig, Ifrin. Over, do you go meet up with them? I'm still sitting there shaking. What do you say? I'm drinking. I'm going to drink the tea. I'm going to be drinking tea right now. And M, what are you doing right now? Uh, uh, when Tig walks up, um, she's just going to say, M gave me this letter. It says Andromeda on it. I think we should read it. And at this point, I'm going to be like, I'm going to take my arm off and I'm going to hold it up. And I'm going to go, all right. I feel like everybody's about to have a story right now and we all need to just take turns so i'm gonna go hand it to i'm gonna hand the arm to to ghost first ghost is gonna be first and see one of the everybody up and just give, pass give, that around for for you know as we go around ghost is gonna take the arm from ifrin and then pass it over to tig oh okay i'll give this back after i read this um and tig's gonna read the letter aloud andromeda hey. I don't know if I should start this with I'm sorry or thank you. So I'll leave it up to each of you to decide which you need it to be. This has been a long journey over I think 
a short few days, weeks. I've seen things I never imagined, met a serpent, and I hope you can agree when I say I made a few friends in you all. On the other hand, I have encountered over and over again the sickness my father showed me, the plague of hatred and self-importance, the idea that one is above another, or even above a serpent. Everywhere we pop up in this slowly decaying husk of an enlightened society, I see it. It has shown me what I need to do. And I need to start now. Please, I pray to any and every god, demon, or serpent you need assistance from that you save this world before I have time to raise what I need to end it, to reset it, to wipe the world clean of the intelligent beings that we claim to be. Please save Vittore. I leave you my piece of the puzzle. This Moonstone key is the key to Skyward. It is your responsibility to ensure the safety of the knowledge behind the doors this opens. My one request is that you let Ifrin go inside first. So this is where my adventure ends. And if you're ever in Spokestot, come see me. Mordecai M. Wisp Trail. Um, Tig folds up the letter and puts it in her, like, pocket. Uh, and just wordlessly hands the arm back to go. So I guess this is, uh... I guess it's my turn to talk. Um... I, uh, <laughs> I guess to keep this short and sweet, I walked into the King of Steam's house. They said, oh, hey. Um, I caught shot. Um, was dying on the floor when Riz Cadigan walked up to me and injected me with something. And magically, I healed. And as I was leaving... He told me to get Raph out of the city, which I couldn't even do, because Raph's not here anymore. Um, he also seemed to be struggling with something, which, to me, looks kind of like Sog. Uh, or not looks like Sog, but is like Sog, a, a separate personality. So seeing him struggle with this insect thing, and killing it, and then leaving, I came outside, and... I uh, I saw Quincy standing there, and the King of Steam in the front lawn. And uh, there was Jolene behind. I I don't remember fighting the King of Steam. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> this Quincy uh, I did this Quincy was it. smoking and steaming. What? The yeah, um, the, they were like a rope. But from what I gathered, yeah. <sighs> Dang it! Now there's a there's a robot Quincy. Now that's everyone in my family has a robot duplicate. Wonderful. <sighs> um, but I do owe that Quincy a very, very much deserved thank you, because if it wasn't for him, I would have died. And and that's why you were carrying Jolene. Yes. Um, I. <laughs> Tried helping Jolene, and I, I could have left, but I didn't. I stayed to help, and then it, it, if I'd left, Jolene would have just been bleeding out. And yeah, it couldn't have been my problem, but Jolene is somebody very important to my friends. Um, and I think Quincy I, I can. cuts you off by hugging you tightly, and he says, You have no idea how important that was to me, and... Well, I know how important of a person she is to you, so I figured I might as well risk my life to try and save somebody else's. You... I will never be able to pay that back. But I will sure... Sure as hell. Um... Uh, you're right, sorry. Then, sorry. Jolene... No, you're, you're fine. Um... The hug was... Needed, I guess. I'm still shaken from it because, you know, almost dying again. 
kind of stirs you up. Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after saving Jolene, I was running with Quincy 2. And Quincy 2 told me to take Jolene, and that's when I ran into you guys at the dock. Ooh, um, a dock. I met you guys at the, yeah, the we docks. Yeah, we were at the dock in Alteris. You remember that? From... Alteris. Uh, that hasn't got to me yet, and Trover's standing there, his, his hand's still shaking. Uh, still tidbits. I think Tig just quietly sort of, like, does that, like, nice friend thing of where she sort of just, like, rubs Trover's back and, like, pats it a little. He kind of flinches, but accepts it. If she notices you flinch, she'll pull her hand away. But I did see something weird with the King of Steam. Um, when Quincy 2 shot him, he shot his fingers off and his fingers magically regenerated. So I don't think fully the King of Steam died right there, despite not getting back up. Um, I had the King of Steam stuff with me, but as you can see, I don't have it anymore. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, anything else? It's or strange. Um, I mean, I got the Balladonna to you guys after, uh... <gasps> oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, if you didn't get that flower, none of this would be... We wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to, uh, use a flower to save the entirety of the, uh... Um... Unfortunately, it's also what kind of causes all this, I think. That's that's just my personal theory, because it's kind of a loop, but, mm. you know. Well, hopefully this time around, if it's a loop, I can... can talk about. Um, I mean, hopefully if this time, like you said, if it's a loop, I can save my parents, but I think that's all for me. Yeah. Well, I could, we'll help you every step of the way. You know we will. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, Question for the DM. Do I start remembering the stuff that happened last time once they start describing it? Uh, yeah, you're you're aware of all the things that happened as Trover. Um, the, the things that are still fuzzy is everything that happened. So you see once Tig stops patting Trover, he hugs Quincy, and he says, You died in her arms, and Raph used the sun to save us. There was also that other one that came in. She... Now M's going away, despite knowing everything now, being one of the only other ones who saw... Trover, you and I are the only one who saw her. You mean the void between. And that's when Trover lets go and steps back. Yeah. She, she spoke to us before we... We came through. And Raph was extremely, extremely burnt up. Yeah. And said it was a reset. Ifrin, I swear I saw you crack before... I did. We appear here. You nearly yeah. died. Yeah. I mean, uh, I remember... Tig, for came. heaven's sake, was a fucking mini but, jar. I pull out or, the jar again. Oh, and, and I put did, it back did, in my pocket. <laughs> uh, didn't you... Someone picked up her gun. I don't know who. Oh, that disappeared. Was, oh. Yeah. There, like, I was I thinking remember, I was really going to get away with that one that, I roll this a time. Check on like, that. Uh, the memories of me as Rover. And I also roll an inside I check. remember, but everything else before that's slowly coming back, and it's it hurts so bad in my head. I roll an and, insight check on Ifrin not coming back with original Ro. Yeah, go ahead. Add nine. Seven. So, um... I wouldn't even be rolling a deception <clears throat> because I do not have oh. it. Yeah. Uh, look, <laughs> it's all high tension for uh, oh, no. right now. I, I understand. I would have given it back to you, but I would have I would have played a prank on you. That's for sure. I, 
I'm sure. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> Raph uh, is the only reason any of us are here. Yeah, and he, that's why um, uh, it was, this Raph was wonderful. I feel really bad because I was the... Raph's the only reason we even got a chance to get here. The the other thing I'm I'm noticing is where are Sepal? Where is Cadmus? I, we're, we're missing a lot of important. I, I'm people. gonna I'm gonna go take my arm back from Ghost. Yes, yeah. yeah well, sorry, we didn't hey, follow the rules of the talking arm as well as we yeah. should. Yeah. No, no, we uh, did. Don't, don't, don't worry. Uh, who, who wants it next? And I'm um, gonna be like, no, what? Trover's next, and and. Emma, oh. Uh, Glee says next then. No, no. So I was just, I wanted to ask the DM if I was mm -hmm. still tripping on the time T. You are still tripping on the time T. <laughs> and, and, and I need you to make wisdom saving throw, please. Ooh, that's probably not gonna work out too well. I'm not. I don't know. Okay. I got a. I got a net twenty. <laughs> and also got a net twenty. That's a five. Yes. <laughs> I need you I'm to sorry for ten, <laughs> ten psychic damage. Ten psychic huh? damage. Ooh. Ten psychic Ouch. damage. So Trover takes Ooh. the arm and. That's a little over half my. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me finish my my thing before you take it. Um, I had to make a wish. Now, the next time I get the staff, I'm not going to be able to do that again. So, um, I feel like I'm responsible and wished for everybody we needed. And I was really thinking you would pull Raph in, too. So, I feel bad about that. This is kind of like a little bit of a set thing. And I uh, wanted to apologize to everybody. Yeah, no. Um... Then I hand the thing over to I don't I don't need y'all to say anything about it but that's out and I hand it right off to Trover Trover takes it and he's still shaking like it there's a mixture of sadness and anger in his vo like voice now points at Glee say you ate my fucking finger then you brought me back and thank you for that and thank you for wishing us here that's great the reason why I don't want to be Alistair Von Clyde is because apparently I wounded Brother Dietrich, one of the people that I've known for the last five fucking years before meeting you. You're some of the most gracious people that I've taken an old drunk buggered in that has no idea of his past, no idea how old he is, no idea who he is. I don't even know if I want to be Alistair Von Clyde anymore. I don't even know if I want to be Trover Walslin. I don't know who I am anymore. I smell the sea. I remember a ship. The majority of us died, and I watched you all turn to fucking dust. Half our people is gone. Half the people that I became friends with is gone. Gone, and he just drops the arm. It's not going to hit the ground as I'm going to make it float before that happens, but pretty quick reaction time since you're so short. But I would like to lean down to you and go, Hey, you can be whoever you want to be from here on out. Do you want to keep helping us? Oh, brother Hammond, Dietrich, and sister. One second, give it. Understand, you're a jumble of memories right now. Sister Theradella, they helped bring me and train me. The reason why I drunk is so I wouldn't do this, and he's still shaking. The last time I did this, I wounded Brother Dietrich. He still has the scar. And I'm afraid that if it goes too far, I might attack someone else again. I don't know what Alistair did, but I'm going to say it, but I, I remember the scene. and possibly he was a pirate. I was a pirate, which would hey. explain the fucking tattoo and the sword. <clears throat> Question. Question. What do you want to do right now? I want to save the ones I owe. And right now you all are among them. I think you should think about that for a little bit rather than who you used to be. Or what you might do. 
Oh, that's the thing. Who we once were and who we are is always going to weigh on us. Well, what I did in the past apparently put me on a fucking card that got me killed by a clown. Yeah. And now that's slowly coming back and I'm going to remember whatever the, the hell I did. Yeah, that's right. That might happen again. We don't yeah. know. We'll, we'll, we'll see after we Same. get done with the with the whole I point behind me and then the 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 arm is going to float over and land in Glisse's hands. Um, Good. Good what have I... DM, what have I learned about tea? From the tea? Well, the main thing that you've learned is that everything that's happened on both timelines and one extra bit. You remember a tunnel in a cave. You remember knights in gleaming armor in dark green cloaks slaying the people you were raised around, raising your hometown, killing the people you grew up with, butchering your parent, and a blank card hitting the ground, soaking up their blood. No, I... I didn't make it in time. They're all gone. They're all gone. Big is gonna go move to, uh... Gently put her arm around Glissay. <laughs> They're all gone, Dave. They're all gone. Every single one of them. I'm sorry. I should've... I should've taken the shot when I could've, but I didn't. I should've never asked. When you were all huddled around the hearts of whatever King Robo dads, I went outside and I booked myself a job with the wild cards. My 52nd to complete the deck. And when I asked for payment, all I wanted was protection. Because they hated my guns, but I still loved them nonetheless, and I just... As much as I wish that my parents were dead, I can't help but love them. And... and... I... I asked... I asked that they be protected. It's all I wanted, and I didn't even know who Stella was. Still have all some holes on the car. And now it's blank. So I didn't make it in time. I, I wanted the contract. And I don't know if this means I can't get into the wild cards at all. Or if I'm gonna have to kill someone closer than just Stella Balsamo. Maybe everyone will roll me perception check. Seven. That would be a soft 20. 16. Yeah. No, 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 19. 14. I heard 119. Anyone get anything higher? I got a 20. Soft one. So, so Ifrin, 19. Who got the 19? Tig? I did. Okay. Ifrin and Tig, you both notice the runes on the stone town faintly glowing around you. I recognize these runes. You can see hovering over the entrance, an ethereal gem, purple in, in color. Almost tan. I don't mean to call this, uh, this, what, what we're doing right now, uh, short. Or, um, I don't know how to say it. So, I don't we, know. How we, to... we need that. Yeah. Um, we should probably, and I look towards the doors that are right behind me. And I s get ready to just enthusiastically burst open and, and, and walk in. Um, you should probably check the doors for traps if we're just going to walk in. There is um, no doors. Don't just, forget the oh, child. There's no doors. Well, yeah, there are uh, no doors. Not. It is an open doorway. It's just an open oh. yeah, doorway. And you see the runes around that are glowing. Does anyone speak Celestia? I do. Ooh. I, I wish I did. 
I thought I did. Be, you can tell the runes say this very ominous phrase. Oh, cool. Oh, Love ominous wonderful. phrases. Ominous Here? phrases. In my D&D game? <laughs> the choices we make today create the future we are dreaming of. Do you say that out loud? Um, but just to make sure I got it all, the choices we make today create the future we're dreaming of? Correct. That's the whole phrase? Yes, that's okay. correct. Um, I guess Quincy will... First, he'll repeat it in Celestial, the way, like, you, you know, you kind of, like, repeat uh, as you're reading something out loud. And then he notices that, like, oh, yeah, that's Celestial. And he says, uh, it, it says, the choices we make today create the future we're dreaming of. It's the uh, crystal that's floating outside the temple, or is it, like, inside, like, past the doorway? It's, like, floating in the doorway. In the doorway? Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's generally what we're looking for. After after Quincy says that, Tig is gonna start moving towards the doorway. I'm well, gonna walk in first. What about Delilah? Uh, what, what, yeah, uh, where Del did she go. Delilah should walk in right after me. Delilah's there as well. You see, Aurora's trying to keep her company. Okay. Um. All right. I, I approach Aurora. Right, we're oh, on. Okay. Aurora, Tig, you said you, you hey, Tig, you said. Tig, you said you tried to go in the doorway? I said I was approaching it. I didn't say I had gone in yet. <clears throat> I'm just moving um, towards it. I'm I'm going to stay out here with with Delilah. Okay. Um Yeah. We'll we'll try to be right out. Okay. Can, can I get a we're, second with, with you, Aurora? Oh, um sure. And she kind of stands up and straightens her her dress out. Uh, what is it, Jorah? First thing I do is I just give her a hug. And just she kind of hugs you back, and she kind of does that reassuring thing where she just holds you softly to let you know that she's there to support you. It's before okay. the before the void between talk to us. And before we showed up here, Rash saved us. And I never got to tell him thank you. I never got to tell him that he didn't have to take the world on his shoulders. And I let go and just walk towards the door. The rest of y'all do. I, uh, I've already begun walking in. I am absolutely... You, uh, yeah, I... you cannot walk past the threshold. There is an energy field that is stopping you from passing. But... I run right into it head first, like if anybody has ever seen Tower of God. Just yep. Like, smack right off of it. Um, can I put my hand, like, like test to see if I can put my hand through? Yeah, you can certainly try. Great, I'm gonna do that. Hey, it does not go through. That's what I figured. I just wanted to tell. I'll try. Step right up. Step right up. Notice That's the, the magic barrier. The gem is starting to disappear. Okay. Um, um, can I go in? Nope. All right. So, wall, uh, uh, wasn't there a key and tries to touch the wall door? There's, there's I, think I, I think I know why M said I should try to walk in first as I'm rubbing my face. Why? Is the he outside? not for here? The key's for Skyward. Um, is the outside climbable? Uh, yeah. The choices we Take, give me a boost. Today. Uh, I will boost up Ghost. Quincy, can you say that thing the again? The choices we make today create the future we're dreaming of. Hmm. I sit down on the ground, like, kind of right in front of it. I rub my hands together, and I just kind of... Tig is gonna, uh, test if she can talk to Abaddon and her Can I try to grab the crystal? I'm... Uh, your hand passes right mm -hmm. through it. Ghost, you get Wait. up to the you get up to the top pretty quickly, pretty easily, and you're just standing on top of the stone temple. There's nothing up here. Oh, I hate to break uh, not even the crystal. Nope. No. Um, I'm gonna try and talk to Abaddon in my head mm -hmm. and see if he responds. Abaddon, how do I grab this damn thing? It seems as though the answer is provided by the Montaminar. 
I do not know the exact workings, but I'd imagine the inscription is the place to begin. Mm. All right, thank you. You've been very helpful. Choices we create today. What was the quote again? Choices we make to dreaming of. I think Quint. Well, I choose to go beyond this. Whatever I think Quincy will like close. Touching the uh, wall. Quincy will like close his eyes and try to just picture in his mind grabbing the crystal. Your hand once again just passes mm. through it. I'd like to. I'm not sure if this will work, but I'd like to pinch myself really, really hard. You pinch yourself and it hurts. And that's about it. Not dreaming. Yeah, I've never really got the idea of like, does pinching yourself in a dream even really wake you up? Oh, no. It's not supposed to wake you up. It's more of, does it hurt? Yeah. Because if it hurts, then it's real. And if it doesn't, then no, it's not. Ghost is going to come that. down from the top. It's the it's choices. Choices. Yeah. Choices. We're choosing. We're choosing to grab it. So why can't we fucking grab it? Well, I think. I think it's more along the lines of we've got to choose it to be in our hands already, and I'm just kind of focusing on that. Well, I mean, I I feel like the fact that this is a Montaminar temple, and they're speaking of the future, that that has to coincide. Hey, uh, dear DM. Can I roll some sort of check to figure out what the fuck I know about the Montaminar? Yeah, roll a history check. <laughs> I'm like... I'm gonna pull out the card. Yo. Uh, that's a 12. It's hot trash. Can I Can I give her... Just like me. <laughs> can I give her the help action by, like, uh, pulling up Jolene's notes? Like, okay, what did Jolene have on the sure. Montaminar? Right, let's try that again. Can... That's much better. That's a 24. <laughs> Thanks, Jolene. She's so helpful. She really is. You picked a wonderful woman. <laughs> we we have two very goth persons of interest. We got two very goth friends. We got to rescue. Yeah, we really do. I got to apologize to Vanth. I way overreacted. Yeah, you I really know. did. I'll make him Breakfast. Is everybody feeling okay? <laughs> what do I know? What do I know about the Montaminar with my twenty-four? You notice that the, as you and Quincy are talking, the gem starts to shine and come into existence just a little bit more. Quincy, talk about the future. Uh, yeah. Talk about yeah, the future yes, that you want. Yeah, the, talk about the, the future the, that the you want to have. have. I want to make uh, Vanth an apology breakfast. Uh, you know, as you do, usually for dinner. Um, uh, uh, just gonna, uh, okay, Vincey, I, I want to uh, be a will teacher try like fish. Brother Hammond and D3. And then I want to marry Jolene and, and, and have my daughter Mina and adopt her and, and live together happily and spoke Stott or wherever. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me where we live as long as we're together. Is the, is, is the, is the, is the crystal becoming more permanent? It is. I'm oh, going to grab that it? thing. It's not. It's still not completely. Not. Ifrin, um, what do you want for the future? I want to be the winner of the tournament. You guys. Yeah, you guys probably know about that. Yeah, I want to be we the winner of the tournament. We don't know about tournament, but that sounds yeah, great. Trover, tournament. what do you want for the future? Trover, what do you want? I want to be a teacher like Brother Hammond, Dietrich, and Theodella, but I also. I wanted to be. I want to be able to say to. Seepo that I love them and hopefully one day have a family. I want to be more than I am now. That sounds like a good future. Yeah, it sounds Trevor. wonderful to me. Ghost, Ghost, what do you want for the future? I, 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 I want to make Stella happy. I want to take her out of the city and show her the world and maybe start a detective agency, you know, something on the side when I retire oh, adventure. That sounds really cool. I mean, it works in practice. I mean, I am a thief after all, so what better uh, opportunity than to, than to start a detective agency? Yeah. Where at? And probably start an altars and then go from there. A good place to start. They need a lot of help. Mm. Someone. Especially <laughs> tax codes. Those tax codes really need to be fixed. You have no fucking idea. Uh, Aurora, uh, what do you want? 
We say, what do you want for the future? I know that's a hard question right now. I want to slaughter every of my family, my people. I want them dead. I can, I can get behind that. I can also revenge. I, uh, I can, I can imagine getting to punch my brother in the face once again, and you know, finally helping him out with the thing. Uh, uh, ramble, ramble, ramble. What else? Is the crystal uh, I, formed yet? Uh, uh, Aurora, what do you want of the future? Uh, um, uh, skip me for now, okay, please. Okay, um, I... I want... I want the Wrath... Of... I want to see Wrath play Blood Rush. I want to, I want him yeah, to be happy. Yeah, that's a great one. I want to see Wrath yeah. happy. I want to see him be MVP. I want to see him get with Iron Aim because those two were so cute together. You don't, rem you guys don't remember, Ooh. but it's a future thing. They're cute together. Ooh. See Aurora like holding back every ounce of her tears right now, as she kind of chimes up. Says, "I, I, 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 I want to see a Kalia. <laughs> Me too." And she just starts sobbing into her you hands. Do, you do her precious. Tick. Tick, what do you want for the future? I want Vant back. I want Vant back. And I want the future that I remembered from the tea. Because that was a mighty fine future. I want to fix tax codes and have a daughter. And uh, do do good by the people who need the most help. And... I would do almost anything for that. The gem solidifies and falls to the ground. I grab it. Can I catch it before it hits the ground? Yeah, I think. No. I think sure. comedically we Why all. Yeah, I all think we us. all comedically all go to get it. To catch it. <laughs> <laughs> At the exact same time. Yeah. That well, first a seven. All right. I would now. I want everyone to roll me an acrobatics check. If nobody gets over a twenty-two, Ooh. Ooh, you no, all bonk heads in the middle. Incredible. I got a natural 20. I also so you got a natural 20. <laughs> I got a modified 20. I got a 22 total. I also got so a 20. So do you want a sleight of hand and acrobatics? Uh, no, it was just a sleight of hand for Trover. Alright, well. Okay. Yeah. I'm bonking too. heads. I only got a 17. All right, me, uh, me and Tager just both holding the gem up. Quincy, just... Quincy, Ghost, and Trover. Gleese, did you go to grab it too? I did, but I got a 16 with a plus 7 to acrobatics. I really fumbled this one. Quincy, Ghost, uh, if, Quincy, Quincy, Ghost, uh, Gleese, and Trover all bump heads <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> as, I'm, I'm, as sorry. If, I'm sorry. As Ifrin and, Ifrin and Tig hold the either side of this gem at the same time. Oh yeah, I could have made it float. And both of you the description on this gem was not on the other gems. One of you, Ifrin, notice it says something in Celestial. On the other side, Tig, you notice it says something in Abyssal. Amadon, can you help me out? I can't read Abyssal. Hey, and Quincy. Your, your you eyes black here? over so you can read it now. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll, I'll come over and read no Wait, actually, this is a. I have a question. Because in Spectres, I knew how to read Abyssal. Can I read Abyssal now? From the memories coming back? Hell yeah, I can just read Abyssal. Nice. Did I learn any new languages? In the <laughs> did I <laughs> hey, what new things did we get from the future? Woo! <laughs> we go over that a little bit later. It's, it says Destiny. It, in Celestial as well? Yeah. Not sure I believe in that, but I suppose it'd be stupid not to at this point. Um, do you say that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess I do. Um, guys, there's something I gotta say about what happened before I met you all. Dindar did say my say Alistair, but when I told Brother Hammond, Dietri, and De Sister Theradella what happened. They said it seemed like a prophecy. Destiny in the making. I whistle. Well, 
Mm. I I go the, once again. The doorway, the doorway where this gem was before, now starts to swirl with purple energy. Yeah, I was literally about to start looking that direction. I wonder if we could go in here now. Hey, that's weird. Do I do I notice anything glowing? Yeah, you notice it's faintly like, glowing. The, the the moss on the on the temple itself. Mm. Ooh. Hey, maybe it's opened up for us now. Yeah. Well, who yeah. first? Wait, I have a question. Oh yeah, me first. The, uh, the DM. Mm-hmm. Can I look around for that figure from the beginning? Uh, yeah. You make a make a perception check. The one I completely forgot about until now. Mm-hmm. Nineteen. Okay. You don't notice that figure at all. Mm. All right. As you see the purple swirling energy in front of you. Uh, do we know where this thing will take us? There's no way of knowing. I I don't mean to oh, make this odd, but Ifrin and Tig. Yeah? Yeah. You both grabbed destiny. Oh, hey! <laughs> That's fun. Oh, we're, uh, I don't know I what the fuck that means. Uh, it means... Oh, okay, um, okay. There's, there's, there's a... There's a saying in the White Tower that if you, you, when it comes to destiny, there are two sorts of individuals. Those who follow what destiny has laid out for them, and those who grab destiny. <laughs> and those that bonk heads uh, trying I... to grab it, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you do a bad job of grabbing okay. destiny. We bonk heads. I just, oh, oh, it's... I am a club. It, I'm gonna let I'm gonna kind of let go of it and just let hold let Tig hold on to it. It's just the the quote, the the choices we make today create the future we are dreaming of. Mm-hmm. This feels like the Montemana would 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 future tell us. They were seers of future premonitions and visions and whatnot, infallible for the most part. And now yeah. it seems like they're going back on everything that they believed and saying that the future is not concrete. Mm. The future is what we make of it. I think it took them a long time to learn that lesson because they could see so far into the future. At least that was kind of something Teach was alluding yeah. to when she was. I mean, thinking about, about it. it logically, they, you know, didn't predict their own destruction. So I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the question is, who's gonna go through this portal first, and where does it take us? Uh, that, well, well, there's only one way to find out. I'm walking through every door first. Duh. Um, um, and met the library door is not... not every door, but if that's your prerogative, I can't fucking stop you. So. Plus, if you walk through every door first, there's a chance that it's trapped. You might get killed um, because of the he... trap, so to be honest with you, it's not wise to walk through the door first every single time. I mean, Take it from me, the guy who fell for a trap. You, you did fall into a pit. It was lovely. And I got impaled, so... It, yeah. What do you all do? I walk I'm gonna walk yeah, I guess through the door, I guess. Yeah, I guess we walk through the door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're walking through the door. It's all purpley. As you all walk through the door, your insides kind of lip and rotate a little bit your vision kind of recenters you take a look around and you see that there are several individuals some of them you recognize around as you were in this small tunnel near you you can see the an archway that you it seems like you just walked through in addition you can see jameson up all leaning up against the the, the wall bloodied and beaten uh, you can see several of the members of the Novatori around you and are very confused as you have no idea what the hell is going on. We're we back in the um, White Stone Inn. Uh, and, 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 you know, you're in a, you're in a earthen tunnel underground. Ooh, as you take a look, you see, you see 
Drian, you see Nito, you see Jameson, and you see Acacia, you see Anoki. Oh, what do y'all do? People I haven't seen in a long time. Um, hi. Wait, yeah. wh- what about Aurora? You look and like. I crap. look back at the do- portal. You see Aurora coming through with Delilah. <gasps> I'm gonna grab oh, Delilah's, Delilah's hand here. and then bring her over to Drian with me. I, uh, Demara's still on the floor. She is. She's she's getting back up slowly. Uh, I think Jameson uh, needs your help. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 I'm, I'm going. Um, How? Yeah, he kind of fought a god. He, so, yeah. What? He, he did. He what? just fought Darnzer. What are you all doing here? You did what? Your that's, guess wait, is as good as mine, Adrian. Here. Yeah. That, that's, also, hey, Adrian, it's been a while. Possible date we came out of. Uh, also, hey, Adrian, it's been a while. Do, do you want the short or long answer? We, well, let's keep it short for now, and we'll we'll get to long later. As three voices speak out in unison. Uh, excuse me. Uh, um, so, sorry, I just... No. Is that Boysenberry? You see it's coming from Delilah. Oh, Who's oh, with Delilah. me next to Drian. Oh, uh, small child. This is Delilah. Hi. Yeah. This is Delilah. Hello, little Delilah. How are you? Hi, um... You, you must be Drian. I am Drian. And Hi, she's Morris. just gonna... Drian is very awesome. She's just gonna give you a hug. Uh, 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 okay. Oh, that's, what uh, that's, mm. huh? oh, Lightning uh, just kind of arcs everywhere and starts hitting everything. Ooh, uh, hey, that, Delilah. What a light Delilah. show. Can, can you not do that? I'm like covered in a thin layer of water. Oh, oh um, so you know, hush up. Is that why it smells briny? No, that's my deodorant. Do you have a child? It's disgusting deodorant. It's clam based. Uh, hey, oh, extra uh, disgusting. Everyone, as you guys hear from down the hallway, all the way to the side. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, I could. It, it's about that time. You guys want to come on up? As you look and you see Boysenberry. Uh, except for this time, mm-hmm. Boysenberry is hot pink. Ooh, I haven't seen that color in a while. How you doing, Boysenberry? Um, you know, I'm okay. Um, we need you guys. Time now. I've never seen um, that color of Boysenberry. The storm. Hey, guys. I have words, please. The tempest cleared. Say say what? Sorry, what? Did what? What? And who are you? Cleared. So that that means we can get to the tower. We don't know what happened or why. The tempest stopped oh, storming. Right. Okay. Oh. So it it didn't oh, yeah. move. It just it stopped. It's it probably stopped. Yeah. That's not good. That's oh, not boy. good at all. Wait. What? Egg is what? in her head going, Abaddon. What the fuck? And that's what we're in tonight's session. Uh, Fucking your first uh, game. Uh, <laughs> no. No.